Hey guys, welcome back to another ch video. Welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you're here. I hope we have um, a nice smooth stream today because it looked like it was having trouble with the thumbnail, but we shall see. We have a pretty big jar today. It's kind of a standard vase size. And I've had this one for a little while. So I thought I would crack it open today. And before we get started, I wanted to show you a little bit of an update from the Honey Hole haul that I showed you in the start of my A-lister show on Sunday. Because, no, I didn't find the missing blue turquoise stone. But I think it, um, I don't know, the, the, the bag had a little hole, so it may have fallen out. But I'm going to go talk to her very soon and ask her to sell me that one earring. Because remember I told you I had an earring that matched? And we only found one, so I'm going to tell her to give me the earring so I can repair the, the brooch. But I also forgot to show you this. And she had this as part of the haul. And this is gold. And I forget. I can't find the little paper. It had a little paper on it. And it said gold marked in the back, $20. But she let me have, again, the whole lot for, for $40. It's a little buffalo. And it is 10 carat. And it's not gold filled. It is solid gold. So, not bad. This is probably worth hmm, maybe $25 in, in melted value for 10 karat gold. But I may likely list it because it's a, a pretty cool little brooch. It's a buffalo. So, that's one thing I failed to show you from the little bag. It was, a, it was in such a little tiny back. It had like a little cardboard back. And that's where it said gold marked on the back. $20, but that was one thing. So we're going to get started. Let me say, oh good, I'm glad it's not buffering. Jennifer's here, and uniquely me, Tracy's here. Ruth, thanks guys so much for being here. And Debbie at Deb's Treasures, Kathleen, Jennifer Hayes, Catherine Thompson, Lisa, thank you guys so much. Be sure and hit that thumb when you walk in the door. Kimberly Aleman is here. Rebecca Miller, Ruth Bond. Okay, let's get started. This one, uh, I know it's got a lot of beads, but why did I, I just, I just bought it because it looked interesting to me and it was kind of heavy. And I hadn't seen the big jars in a while. She's been doing bags. And today I found some small, some small, like the goldfish size, like this size. She had some of those today for 25 and 20 so I got some of those too. But anyway, we got this last week, I believe. Let's see what's in it. All right, I'm going to take this tape off, first of all. Looks like we got an earring stuck on here. And it's a little silver tone howling wolf. Howling at the moon there. Kind of cute. Little earring. I don't think it's silver. Let me look at it up close. Hi, Lisa Lemons. Oh, it is sterling. Gosh. I think I need new glasses, guys. It really looked like it had all kinds of scrolls and stuff. Like, you know, when the silver tone does. <laughs> I don't know. It didn't look like sterling, but it says sterling. I hope we have the other one. Cute. Cute designs on that little howling. Is it? A, yeah, it is a wolf, right? Hmm. Well, that's nice. Sterling right off the bat. I hope we do have a partner. Hey, Kelly. Glad you're here. Hi, Vanessa. And again, that was 29 so about 20 with my discount. And this one says guess. No. Oh, I thought it said guess. See, they want you to think it says guess. Look at that font. Geneva. It's not running either. Oh, well, here's a really pretty one. That burnt orange, it's a stretchy. They make some of these stretch expandable bracelets so pretty. That is really pretty. So different. Looks like the stretch is still pretty good on it. So that's nice. And then, is this a Christmas brooch? It is. With little leaves, that's pretty. I don't see a mark on it, but let me take a closer look. Let me see. Nope, nothing. Hey, Jennifer Gattenby, how are you? That's pretty. Rich enamel on that. It's 
always nice to get a Christmas brooch. And here's a cute bangle, cuff rather. Really nice color on it still. Wow, they only had 99 cents on it. It's pretty nice. Oh, I got to show you the ring I got on eBay the other day. I just fell in love with that. Isn't that cute? Zuni. That buyer had a lot of Native American things, and I loved it. And it matches this one that I've had for yeah, more years than I care to say, but uh, definitely over 35 years. I really wish I could wear them together, but they both fit me in the middle finger only. Anyways, so, see, don't they look cute together? I just found this on eBay this weekend. Love it. Love it. All right, well, that's not not a nice, not a bad looking cuff, is it? Reminds me of uh, what is it? What's that chip? Ruffles. Looks like a ruffles chip. Okay, let's pour out a little bit. That's always fun. Lots of beads too, but that's okay. That's a heavy base. All right. Let's see what's in. It. Oh, another. Okay, we only have one earring so far, so I'm gonna put this over here. Don't let me lose my buffalo either. Ooh, a ring. Interesting. Looks like a man's... <laughs> Looks like a man's pinky ring or something. Gold tone. Yeah, it's big. It's definitely like a man's ring. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Cute watch. This one says studio. It's kind of cute, like a bracelet band, bracelet style. I have marker all over my finger. I was doing some writing a minute ago. That's pretty. All right, here is a, a paw. That's so cute. A little doggy paw, a little bling on the paw. That is so pretty. Look at that. <laughs> that is cute. <laughs> oh my goodness, I like that. That's pretty. <laughs> okay, here is a bracelet that looks like it wants to look like silver, but I don't know if, don't think it is. Let's, well, it's not sticking. Maybe it is. The earring fooled me a minute ago. We'll have to take a closer look at that. See what it is. Maybe it is silver, guys. It's, now it's looking like sterling to me. It's not a rattle. Oh, I do hear a little bit of something. But it's not a rattle. This may be sterling. Where's my little scratch thing? I don't think I have it nearby, but what do you think, guys? I think it looks a little like sterling. I'm going to check it out. Of course, it's big. All the nice ones are big on me. Oh, I hate that. It's cute, though. I hope it is still. I'm going to test it as soon as I find my little stone that, that I use. Otherwise, I would have just gave, given it a quick scratch. This is cute. It's got some rhinestones on it. Really small ones. Maybe it's diamond chips. You never know. It's got a tag on it. It says... Fossil. That's a fossil. That's pretty. That's a nice little pendant. Interesting. It's just a little geometric shape there. That's kind of cool. Looks like 50 people are here, guys. Be sure and hit that thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, I hope you like looking at jewelry and talking about reselling jewelry and all of that because that's what we do here. So please be sure and hit the subscribe button as well. This is a very delicate chain. Guys, yesterday I was looking through my earrings. Actually, I have a whole box. I'll show you. <laughs> Let me just move this. I have this huge box full of backs and a few posts. And I was looking for sterling backs because I kind of just put them all in here and a few... Some of them are, are like, you know, I think they might be single earrings and then they wind up getting married anyway. But I was looking through there looking for some earrings back, earring backs for some earrings that I sold. And I found two pairs of earrings that are pearls. And 
I wore them today. I'm going to show you. So take a second look at your stuff, guys. I wore both of these in one ear, and they did match, so they're all matching. But just a fair warning to those of us who, you know, get all these, these items, and then we put them somewhere, and then we don't realize they're genuine. So these are genuine pearls on sterling, and these are genuine pearls on gold. And I wore them today. I wore the big one in the back. I have two piercings. The big ones in the back and these little ones in the front. So I would definitely take a second look <laughs> as I'm scrutinizing, you know, for looking for sterling backs and things like that. This one looks interesting. It says 18 inches. It's a tiny little pearl. It's probably real. Let me see. Hi, Adam. It is. It is. I don't know if it's gold plate or what let's take a look at that let's take a look at that little clasp jump ring or whatever let's see if it doesn't say anything let me see here if debbie mitchell is in the chat let me know because she sent me a fabulous gift and I am totally speechless. Totally floored. She sketched a, a picture of me, guys. I'm going to show it to y'all on. Yeah, it's marked 14 carat. That is so strange. It's marked right there. It looks like 14 carat to me. I'm going to take a real good look at it. With my loop, I'm looking at it with the other thing right now. You guys let me know what you see. I think that's what I see, unless it says GF on the side. It's possible. I don't have my loop. I don't have my loop right now. I just have this one. And that's pretty good, but I think the loop is still better. So, nice. And it is a real pearl, tiny little pearl. Yeah. Okay, nice. That was a good jar so far. Anyway, what was I saying? I forgot already. Oh, Debbie Mitchell sent me a picture that she drew of me, and it is so beautiful. It's actually, it's two pictures. I just, oh my gosh, I look at things like that, and I've always wished, there's two things I've always wished I could do. One is draw, and one is sing. Did you guys hear Kelly sing last night? Oh my gosh, Kelly, you have such a beautiful voice. I mean, that's, oh, I just envy people who have that kind of talent. God send. This is pretty. This is look, looks like sterling. It's like a lot of crosses. And it's a tie bar. I mean, a tie clip. Pretty nice. So, uh, I don't know if she's in the chat, but I will thank her personally, uh, or again, and <laughs> write to her and everything, because... Thank you so much, Miss Mitchell. I'm just so honored that you did that. It's so beautiful. I love it. This is a pretty bangle, guys. Look at that. It's got a lot of pretty work on it. And it's a good size, too. It's not too big. I think it's silver tone. It's got interesting etching on there. It looks very textured. Yeah, so many beautiful... People, so many beautiful voices we heard last night. And, of course, uh, Todd, Flippin' Hustler. Oh, my gosh. I was just in awe. And so um, amazed at the beautiful voices. This is pretty, too, guys. I don't know what it is. But it's the copper ones, and it's a pretty orange. You do, too, Carla? <laughs> That's always been my dream since I was little. I always wanted to sing. And, uh, oh, my my daughter has a, a friend who sings amazing, amazing. She's been, she's done Les Mis and in all the local plays here in Houston. And she's already well on her way to her career. She's just doing so wonderful. But, yeah, it's just so, oh, my goodness. And then people who can draw something so beautifully and then actually see, I mean, I, you know, a lot of times people draw pictures of you you don't really see the resemblance, but I do, and oh my god, and not in everything, you know, it's like, it's their rendition, right, but it's just an amazing 
way to a, an intelligible talent that I just am so in awe of. This is a cute earring. I love those colors together. I'll put that in the multicolored earrings. And here's a little chunk of faux turquoise, I believe, but it's nice and cold. It could be real. I don't know. It's an earring. It's really heavy. I don't know how someone could wear that. It's pretty heavy. And here's a little chain. Very cute with a leaf. So, oh, oh, Kelly, look at that. It's a leaf. Oh, my goodness. It's cute. It's so small and cute. Oh, thank you, Carla. That's so sweet of you. This says CN on one side and 925. And it says 925 LA. And look how it has an extender. I've run into this brand before. I don't remember what it was that I what I found, but it's sterling and it says LA. That is the prettiest little leaf. How cute is that? And it looks brand new. No no tarnish on that one yet. All right, let's see what else pops out of here. I had an eye on a on a quartz looking thing a minute ago, but I I guess they were plastic. They just kind of looked it, but we'll see. This is really pretty, though. I'm really getting into beads lately. I love the peachy colors. How pretty. Yeah, this was it. See how it looks like pink quartz, but it's just plastic. What a good imitation, though. It's pretty. Really pretty. I like that. And, um, oh, another tie pin. Another Christian symbol. Let me look at the back of that one. Some of these may be James Avery. Oops. <laughs> it is. I, I almost don't want to show you guys when I find James Avery because I'm like, they probably think I'm joking or something, but there it is. The other one looks like James Avery too, but I couldn't. Let me look closer on the other one. You see the J.A. there? <laughs> That's nice with the ichthys and the, t and the three crosses. Let me rub this one a little bit and see if it doesn't say J-A. Oh, is Carol here? <laughs> they do. I, I could not believe I found the one. Carla, you're absolutely right. I could not believe I found that one James Avery tie bar all the way in North Carolina where Miss Autumn Grace lives. And I bought one of her jars. And I did buy another one. She had an auction. Was it Thursday night? And she had one jar. It was a virgin jar. So I was the only bidder. And... Yeah, this is, this is Avery. Yep, <laughs> I can't believe it. This one says Avery and 925 on each corner. And uh, so I can't wait to get it yet. Maybe I'll get another Avery in there. Look at that. Avery on one side and Sterling on the other. Amazing. Amazing, I can't believe it. And they got their backs. That's unusual. And that's what I found in that North Carolina. I don't know, I forget. Is it North Carolina or South Carolina where they live? Um, but it was also a man's tie bar or whatever it's called. So two Avery's in the house already. Awesome. And I don't think these are very common. I have to, I really don't think they make them that much anymore. You know, the men's. <gasps> Look at that precious little earring. I love it. You find uh, Silpata a lot? <laughs> Carol, did you see that? <laughs> I knew Carol was going to say that. Can you believe it, Carol? Two James Avery bars. I need to list these. I really do. I need to make some money on this Avery I'm finding. <laughs> ooh, this is cute. I don't think it's real, but you never know. I've, it's been, ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Feels good, though. It feels nice. It looks like a little designer piece. If it's not sterling... We shall see, but it looks very nice. Maybe it's lucky or something. Let me take a look how pretty that is. It's very heavy, too. And it's got little, like, the color of, what is that stone? Larmar? That's what it, the color of the blue is. Oh, my gosh, that's cute. And then sort of a pink cabochon in there. That's really cute. And look at that little dangle on there. How interesting. Let me see if it says anything. Be nice if it was 925, huh? 
I mean, well, let me get the magnet. Look how strong this magnet is, guys. It picks up my knife. You know, it's, it's not sterling. It's really sticking. But I still want to see what it says, see if it says anything. It's so cute. It's like a genuine stone on that dangle. It's got speckles. Look, cute. It's a beautiful piece. It really is, I like that. All right, it feels so nice. That's why I thought it was sterling because it felt really good. Oh my goodness, this is a cute earring, vintage. Hope we have the match. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's cute. That is super cute. It's got like a little foam on it. I don't know if I want to pull it off. But look how they're all riveted. That's really cute. All right, let's look over here. Oh, that's a nice little... Is that an earring? Looks like it wants to be... Um, white buffalo or something but it's it's just plastic yeah it's just a plastic bead cute though and a little smoky topaz bangle really cute they had three bucks on it at one time that's cute very nice and oh these are pretty too these are shell at the top, and I don't know what the bottom is. It's a cute bead, though. A little dangle earring. That's really nice. Um, hmm. I think this is a Christmas tree ornament or something. It's got tinsel in there, and it's it's just plastic. Here's another statement piece. That's pretty, too. Nice color. Okay, I love these beads. I'm really liking these big, chunky things. This one is, is it? Yeah, it is busted. I'll have to get that fixed. Like two pieces, really pretty colors together, too. Pastels. But one of them has come unhooked, so I'll get that repaired. Put that right there for now. Oh, that's that Christmas earring we saw. Here's another dangle earring in gold tone. More beads, just little plastic beads. Hi, Ann. How are you, Marge? Jack, I'm glad you're here. Sanja. It's a pretty colors, too. Very cute. I like that. Oh, we got some glass pendants. The dichroic glass. That one's pretty and a heart. I think I have another zebra. Black and white zebra stripe heart. Just very similar to this, but black and white. This is pretty. Plastic. Hey, Jude, how are you? Oh my, I love purple. And look in the um, gunmetal accents. That's beautiful. And it's plastic. Very nice. I say that because plastic is so comfy. You know, I love the glass. I love the way it feels. I love to play with it. But plastic has its advantages too. <gasps> hey, Autumn Grace. I'm glad you're here. I was just talking about that James Avery that came all the way from the Carolinas over here. So I can't wait to get my other virgin jar I got from you. Look at these, Carla. Carla collects little sweater clips. This, these are cute. These are darling. They have teeny little pearls on the tips. Very pretty. They look very nice. Very nicely made. Yeah, I can't believe they're in such great shape. They've got kind of a brush design. The little clip works really nice. 
They look like they were put away forever and never used. Amazing. These are nice. I like that little accent in the middle. So that's nice. I already saw that one. Oh, this is some little coin earrings. These are, well, they're little discs. These are pretty. These are made nicely as well. Another statement piece. 83 people watching, 45 thumbs up. Go over there and hit that thumbs up for me before you head to bed. Oh, this is pretty. This is a pretty statement piece. I like the way it's kind of, I don't know, kind of delicate, just really, really slender around here. It doesn't go out too much. And the shapes are different. And that color, oh, I love that coral color. It's one of my favorite colors. Somebody asked me, oh yeah, the other day when we were on, last night when we were on the panel for Vicki, I think it was Gianna or Lydia asked me what my favorite color was and I could not decide. <laughs> Look, they have the matching earrings. I said blue and red, but I love pinks too. Here's a little faux turquoise, I believe, little bead. Should throw that in a crafter lot. You can start making another crafter lot because I put one up on my site and that one was full already. Uh-oh, some keys. This one's open like it really did work. See? It says something at the top. B51. Hmm. So it may have worked for something. See how it's open? That's interesting. Thank you, Anne. That's very nice of you. Okay, this is pretty. Look out for these two guys. I have run, run into these big, chunky-looking things that I thought were just costume. One of them was gold, and another I kept, and it is um, sterling. I sold the gold. That is pretty. It's got all colors there. That would look very nice with a little bath. I think it would shine up beautifully. Very cool. All right, let's see what else is in here. We got some backs. Look at those, too. Those are often gold. Oh, we did get a match on these, so that's good. Let me get them out of here. Those are pretty. A toothpaste bath. Yes, I need to try the toothpaste. Jude was telling me she shined up a brooch with toothpaste, and it looked beautiful. And it was just base metal. It shined up very nice. Okay. Oh, uh, what is this? Oh, these are those things. I was going to say a little coat rack. <laughs> I mean, a little hanger. Somebody told me they belong, I think, around the collar or something. That's nice. No marking on it, but uh, it's very nice and shiny still. I don't know. To me, it looks like a little hanger. I hope I do too, Miss Autumn. And that's, you know, that's the thing about the jars. It's just the thrill of the hunt. That's what I'm doing here with this one. Oh, this is cute. I thought it was a stretchy. Look at that. It says Faith. It's got a copper, silver, two silver. When God looks at mothers, he sees gentle hands. And caring hearts shaping the future, one precious life at a time. That's really pretty. That's a pretty sentiment and a pretty bracelet. But it's very big. Very nice. That could use toothpaste, too. Okay, we have a silver doll. I mean, a sand dollar, it looks like, right here. Let me take it out of this tangled mess and see what happens. An earring with a shell as well. Gold bangle. This is nice, though. It's kind of brass-colored. 
That should shine up really nice too. Looks like a decent size too. It doesn't look too big. Okay, this sand dollar. Is it a sand dollar? I don't know. I can't tell. Or a cross. Looks like silver tone. It's a nice chain though. And it's tangled up in here with these cute purple earrings. So let me get these out of here. These are pretty. Love purple. Earring lot for those. Hey, do they match this purple? Eh, not really. This one has more pink in it. But it would blend if you really wanted to wear matchy-matchy, which I don't too often. Got another match on the green earrings. So I'll pull that out for the earring lot. I love that. that. That'll match that other bracelet I showed you the other day, that neon bracelet. That was something. Did y'all see that? Hey, Mike, how are you? I'm glad you're here. Oh, my goodness. Lots of chains in here, guys. All right, here comes some. This is all attached here. Okay, there it goes. Well, that's interesting. Kind of festoon there. And then a long Figaro style. Feels yucky though. I gotta clean that one up too. Hey, Don's channel. The green bracelet, isn't it cute? A lot of people like that. Look at this, this is cute too. Just a cheap little earring, but it, it looks cute. I like it. Okay, let's see what this one is. I got some interesting counters, counter finds today too, but I left them in the car. I'll have to bring you that next time. Okay, this is tangled. They look cute. Got like a little dash chain there. Hmm. Okay, what a mess. I think they're both just silver tone, so I'm just going to let them. Yeah, see that one got picked up. And that one got picked up. They're pretty, though. They might even go together. They look like they should go together. I wouldn't doubt it. They're doing a lot of that now. Do you guys have much luck selling the delicate jewelry? I'm going to start talking about that in one of my... Oh, this is pretty. This is a cold little stone, too. Because a lot of people think they don't sell, but they do. I think they do. Like, I've listed little tiny lockets and things like that on Posh, and people do like them. So I may have to um, talk about that and see how you guys are doing with that. That's a pretty earring. I hope we find the match to that one. Because some people just, and I was actually thinking about this, because in one of my videos or another video I was watching, there was a commercial you know, the, the ads. And it was about a company that the girl that was modeling the, the jewelry said their, their designs are very delicate. That's what they do, delicate jewelry. Forgot the name of it. And obviously it's, you know, a lot of these homegrown companies, internet companies that advertise on, on Google and Facebook and YouTube. So... Yeah, there must be a thriving business, too, for the delicate jewelry as well. Okay, this has seen better days. I, I don't know if we can salvage it, but we will look. Let's see? We will look and see if there it's got a lot of tangles or if they go together or what. Some broken pieces here. This is a musical note. Let me see if it doesn't say anything. 
It's got an interesting back. Nope, no signs of precious metal or anything. I like the back though because I can use that on some of the um, stick pins I find that don't have backs. So these are some earrings that are matched up. That's interesting. Let me see what they say. They don't look like gold or anything. Nope, they're just matched up, little posts. All right, this one's running and it's very dusty. Some kind of fitness watch, I guess, but it is running. Okay. And, oh, this is kind of cute. Little pendant. But we do have some tangled up chains and beads. Oh my goodness, an arrow in here. Hmm. Here it is, a little arrow. Copper color, brass color, necklace, it's pretty. Well, thank you for being here all the way from the Philippines. Oh, here's a cute ring that lost its stone. What a shame. We'll have to harvest something to go in there. It's huge, too. Probably a nine or a ten. Okay, we did get the matching earrings on these. These are pretty. They look like some kind of natural stone. They're very cold and heavy. I don't know what kind of a stone they could be, but they're pretty. Okay, we still haven't found the match to the... Oh, yeah, we did. Here it is. All right, so we got the sterling coyotes, or what are they? Wolves. And they are sterling. They're hallmark sterling. They're cute. They are really cute. And that design, I think it's kind of a Native American design when they have those little swirls, but I'll have to investigate. I know the, the motif is, but that's pretty. Could just be Southwest inspired. Very nice. I like the way they're, they're actually just Hallmark Sterling. Nice to have the match though. So that was the first thing that was taped to the tape of the, to the top of the jar on the tape, stuck on the tape. Oh, here's a Sterling ring. Let me see if it's not Avery, because <laughs> it kind of looks like their design. They have a lot of knots and things. No, this one says 925SU. Hmm. SU. But they do have a lot of knots, so whenever you see little knots or like the knotted hearts or what they call, they have one that's called the lover's knot, so it has like these little square knots and things. That's a big ring too, but it's a nice hefty ring. It really is. Probably an eight. Nice. Okay, another piece of sterling. Not bad. 20 bucks. <clears throat> Excuse me. 29 is what they had marked on it, but I get that little discount. Yeah, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, guys. I really do appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. All the way from the Philippines, you can subscribe. <laughs> I hope. Oh my goodness, this is so cute, but it's tangled. It's so romantic. Look, I love these rosary style pearls. I love them. And then it's got the little charms and tassels. That's really pretty. It's nice they made too. Really cute. That's glass or plastic? No, it's plastic. It's very cute. We love tangles. <laughs> oh, we did get a match on this cute earring. That's good. Here it is here. These were pretty. They're also very romantic. And they're not very heavy, and they're not missing the rhinestones. Bingo. <laughs> That's always a plus. Very cute. Here are some wood earrings. These are pretty. With some turquoise colored accents as well. And they're matched up. 
Cute, cute, cute. Yeah, very gypsy like. This earring, this ring was interesting. Never seen men's jewelry and well to me it looks men's in costume. You know, gold tone. But maybe I just don't shop enough. I don't know. Oh, this is cute too. This is different. These earrings are beautiful. I like that. Probably won't be able to wear them for very long because that stone is very heavy. This is pretty. Very different. No maker. Very nice addition to a lot. Okay, we did get the match on this one too. This one's cute. These look very Asian. Or, you know, the style. They're very pretty. I love the colors. Green shell, and then I'm not sure what those plastic beads are. And then they even have a little, like, sequence at the bottom. Kind of opal-looking sequence at the bottom there. Very cute. I don't know. These, I'm not sure what these are, but they're pretty. They're like a... I guess it's just like an enameling over it, but it almost looks like it's got a metal coat on it, but it's not. Here are some shell fan earrings. I don't know if we'll get the match. These are matched already, little black ones. Hearts. Here's some rubber kids bracelet. A stretchy, expandable, what is this on there? Oh, I think it's supposed to look like tiger eye. At first I thought it was like some kind of image of face or something, but no. That's pretty though. And then, oh, a kid's wings. Oh, I have to, that's so cute. United. Do they even give these out anymore, guys? I remember they used to give these to the kids. I haven't seen them in a while. Maybe they do, maybe I just don't fly United. And I'll never fly Spirit again. <clears throat> Flying Southwest. This is pretty. Nice, heavy enamel. Pretty colors, too. And it's a good size. It's not too big. Very cute bangle. And here's another tie clip. Gosh, I hope it's James Avery. Tie bar. These people, if this is a James Avery and it's three James Avery in one jar, I'm going to freak out. And I'm going to try to remember what Goodwill I got these from. No, it's not. It's just silver tone. But see, they got the silver tone, right? And then they found the other ones and they're like, oh, they're all silver tone. They throw them in there. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty though. It's a cross too. That's so interesting. And here's a awareness. It's got a little puzzle on there, a little puzzle piece. Breast cancer campaign. Okay, and then here are some. These are matched up too, I think. These are so cute. Look, Vanessa, butterflies. And they're enameled. Yeah, they're together, so there's two of them. These are so cute. They're little dangles with butterflies on three of two of the discs. How cute are they? Gold tone. Oh my goodness, these are cute. Look at that. They're a pretty color too. They're not heavy. I have to put these in Vanessa's collection. <laughs> these are cute. Look how cute. Tiny little butterflies. Very pretty. They almost look vintage to me. It's very nice work on the enamel, actually. Oh, it's got a little rhinestone at the edge of one but of the main butterfly there. That's a little rhinestone. Very nice. Okay, more of these broken bead things. I don't know what this is, but I'll probably put it in a crafter lot because the chains are nice. And people like to craft with chains. And this is from Arrow. So I'll put that in a crafter lot. And another crafter piece because it is broken. 
right there. There's a nice chain in there, though. I don't know if it's part of another chain, so we'll have to see what happens here. Let me, let me undo this. Mm. Might just be a part of the other New York chain there. Okay. Now you're hooked on jewelry, Anne. Aren't we all? Okay, this is the one that needs to be fixed. What pretty beads, though. Look at that. All kinds. These are metal. There's some plastic. This is very nice. This is a good piece to put in a crafter lot. Nice beads in there. Nice chain, too. Very nice. And another chain. I think this, this actually looks like a belt. But it's not. It's a necklace. So that's nice, too. Good condition, too. And here is... I think this one folds up for like a double strand. And this is on the metal, not a, it's like an illusion, but it's actually metal. Oh, look, we did get the match on the vintage earrings. Nice. These are so pretty. They look like little cherry blossoms or something. So that's cool. I'm glad we got these matched up. These are very pretty. I, I'm tempted to take this off to see if there's not a mark on it, but I don't know. I would think it would come with it too. No rhinestones missing either. These are really pretty. This, I I would put up with the pain for about two hours to wear these beautiful earrings. They are really nice. Okay, and then we have some gold metal. I mean, gun metal. Triple strand, I think. And this is arrow as well. And I think I'm going to put this in a crafter lot too. It's got a few tangles, and I think it'll be a good piece for a crafter lot. More of the broken pieces. Here's some, oh gosh, that little stretchy had a, some matching earrings. Here's some pearls. I don't think they're real. They're shaped like hearts. They are matched, though. And did we get a match on this? Yeah, we got a match on these crazy 60s looking earrings. Put those in the earring lot. And I believe that is it. Mm -hmm. Not a bad jar at all, guys. Oh, here's a ring. It's open, though. It's like a ring cuff there. I don't think it's real sterling or anything. Yeah, that looks like it. A lot of little... Oh, these are matched, too. <laughs> and some backs and some other... These are nice to have in gold. I rarely see these in gold. Sometimes you need those to repair. All right, so not bad at all. We did get some sterling, lots of, couple of James Avery. I'm really gonna have to list those quick. And other nice things. I think this may be sterling. I'm gonna check it and all of that and see if it is or not. I'll come back and let you know next time. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. It was fun. I hope you had a good time. Please be sure and hit that thumbs up on your way out. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. I hope everyone made friends in the chat and subscribe to each other because there's a lot of good content out there to be discovered. I'm really enjoying all of the new channels I'm discovering. So be sure 